girl math is a phrase first coined by a couple of New Zealand podcasters, and it's essentially a new ideology behind how a person, usually a girl, justifies various purchases. It comes with its own set of logic and rules. For instance, if you don't buy something that is $50 at the store, you then save $50 and can spend it elsewhere. If something is on sale for at least 30% off, you are actually losing money by not buying it. If you preload your Starbucks card with cash, then buy a drink, that drink is free. Anything under $5, free. Buy tickets for a concert in advance, that concert is free. So you get the picture. It's a way of assigning a certain type of logic to justify purchase that otherwise might be psychologically or fiscally stressful. Neil, have you wrapped your mind around what girl math is? It sounds like something I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of have a similar view. If it's under $5, I'm like, all right, well, it's not costing me anything. And then, you know, if you have a flight or a ticket to a concert way in advance, you, you know, you, Good you're deal. thinking that I already have it. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a girl, but maybe I've been using girl math all of these years. Like, what do you think? It spe- do you think it speaks to anything larger in our society? Or It, it is definitely like a lot of people do we've talked about like this psychological phenomenon behind how you justify some purchases. Yes. And I feel like it, this is just putting a, a label on something that a lot of us have felt deep within ourselves. This is also just part of a broader trend of, I mean, call it a girl trend summer because we've also, this is kind of a successor to girl dinner, which has also been as, this huge trend. And girl dinner is basically assembling a bunch of snacks kind of chaotically, but also a little artfully in order to have kind of a filling, but also not traditional dinner in some way. And so I, I do think that if we want to blow it up into a very large trend, it is something that a lot of people, it's putting a label on something that a lot of people do. Everyone's like throwing right. together stuff from the fridge. It's not actually a dinner. It's more snacks, but you, it, it fills you up. That's girl dinner. So it's the summer of the girl trend. Lazy girl job. Right. La- lazy girl job. Is There's one. just been this growing use of the word girl this summer. I think it's it's very unmistakable. And, you know, I'm curious about why that is. But after, you know, you didn't hear the word girl a lot in the past couple of years. And then all of a sudden, every single thing is like Barbie, Taylor Swift, Lazy Girl Dinner, Girl Math. It's the uh, summer of the girl. Yeah. It, it, and it's been very fun summer. I will say that. So maybe there's some. Even for a non-girl. Yeah. Just watching <laughs> it. I'm, I'm happy for them. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you want more Morning Brew Daily, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also check out the rest of our episodes wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop at 7 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. And you can email us at morningbrewdaily at morningbrew.com.